Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you my code to uh, use convolution neural network CNN to classify the different types of white blood cells. So there is always uh, it's always the hardest uh, among all applications of machine learning is the classification and the analysis of medical images. Um, however, it is it is becoming very popular and uh, a lot of um, cool projects and a lot of students uh, are working on this now and researchers of course and, and everything so uh, it's always uh, a very uh, useful and a very good and interesting use of machine learning and especially convolution neural network in the um, uh, analysis and the classification of uh, medical images also you can use it whenever you're doing an experiment or you wanted to automate something so you depend on computer vision for the uh, analysis of your uh, experiments, maybe on cells, maybe on something like that. So you need machine learning. So anyway, let's start with the code. So you have two main codes uh, and all other codes I put here in the folder tools. Okay, the training codes and, and any other codes are here in tools. So you don't need to... Uh, install uh, any toolbox or anything you have everything packed here in tools but I, I uh, put here on the main folder the two main uh, scripts one for creating and training the CNN and one for using it and uh, applying it on images okay before we go to the training and the use let's talk a little bit about the data set we're using so we are having a very big data set about 12,000 images and I uh, the images are jittered okay jittered which means that it is a little bit rotated uh, so uh, you can have uh, and flipped also mirrored so you know that the, the CNN is trained to um, only uh, the, the correct features for the different types of whatever you're doing uh, in our case here the types of white blood cells but uh, when you have uh, always the, the, the image in the same orientation, you get a little bit of uh, overfitting, which means that the, the CNN is simply memorizing the training set and giving a very bad results in the testing or the validation set. Uh, that's what we call overfitting. So when we do Jitter, we get more images and we get mirrored and rotated image, and you will see that it will help a lot in the overfitting problem and it will give much more much better uh, uh, results it's like you are it's like you are giving your cnn uh, the same example over and over again but mirrored and flipped and rotated so the, 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 the cnn can really see what is important in this example that can classify it as a certain thing it's a very strong and very good approach uh, whenever you deal with the CNN, get your you get your database and try to jitter it and mirror it and do it like this. You will get more and more examples from fewer data, and you will even get a get a very very uh, good training. It will be much better training. It's even I guess from my point of view, it's even better than dropout uh, to to counter uh, fit or uh, sorry to counter the the overfitting. Okay. Okay, so here is the database, and at the end you have here an Excel file with your data. So you will see that we have four classes, four main types for uh, white blood cells, eosinophile, um, lymphocyte, uh, monocyte, and neutrophile. And you're going to see this, you have the name of the, of the uh, image and the uh, uh, correct classifications, okay? So this is the data folder that we, file sorry, sorry that we're going to use to uh, train uh, or sorry to create our uh, image database. Okay, so now also you you need to have this one this this very big file. It's around 500 megabytes, a very big file. This file holds all the data in the blood cells data set into one .mat file, which makes the training faster, better, and easier to deal with. So what we need is that we need to get all this database into this .mat file, okay? And once we do this, we can then uh, 
train the network and get this .NET file. So this very small, just about 64 kilobytes file has a trained net, which is then is used by this script UCNN to do the classification. Okay, so let's get to the code. Okay, so let's get to this one. This one trains the code and it saves the training after each epoch into this a checkpoint folder. So I have already trained my, my network to 30, uh, 39 epochs and I will do it, uh, I will make it a stop at 40 so you can see training for only one epoch so we can save time on the video. Okay, and then you can see the error and the, 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 actually you get a very good analysis at the end of the training. You get the error, you get the shape of the filters, you get the ROC and you get the overall accuracy. It's very good. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so let's say that we don't have, I will not put this because it's very big in size, so I will not put it uh, with the code, but so how to, but I will put of course the database, here you go, I will put the images of the database. So how to get this .mat file? Well, at the beginning of the code here you have something called create database and I set it to false. If we set this to true, it will, before training, it will create the database from the folder containing the images and you will have this mdb image database created okay first now let's say that you have already created it okay so you have you have it already so you set this and you don't want to, to recreate it you set this to false okay and that's it you don't create it you have a lot of parameters to play with you have the training ratio how much to be trained and the rest is validation and testing you have the size of the image, the input size, I put it 64 by 64, so this is the square. So whatever is the size, it is resized. So again, the, one of the benefits of having this image database.mat is that you put all the images in the right size, in the right format. Um, and you save all the information that you can use whenever you have a new example, a new image uh, that you wanted to use. You know, you need to know the image size and everything. So all of that is, is saved in this mdb.mat. So it's a very good uh, idea to deal with databases, not directly from the folder, which, which takes a lot of time and needs needs uh, more data actually to be saved in other, in other place. Now you have everything here. Okay, so the strain ratio, you have also, if you wanted to bad, here you can see if you have, if you wanted to bad, you put ratios from zero to one of how much you want to bad from the left, the right, the, uh, the, the the top, the bottom, everything. Okay, so if the, if the, let's say that the image you want it to be gray or want to leave it as RGB. So if the database is RGB, you set this as false, okay? And if you want it to be a gray scale, not an RGB scale, you set this as true. So actually our data is uh, colored, okay? It's a colored database, as you can see. So it's an RGB uh, color. If you want it, to be at a, a, a gray scale, you wanted to transform all the RGBs into gray scale, put this as true, and you will have a gray scale version database of this data. So th that's a very important point. Then you have the, 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 the number of the filters, the size of the filter, all the parameters of the CNN, you can play with that, you have the training options, and you can play with that, of course. After this part of parameters that you can play with, you have all the code that you don't need to change for the training. Okay, so let this as false and set this one as true. So you can create it uh, before. So let's say that we don't have it and we want to create it from the beginning. Okay, so at first it, go, it says select the folder containing the data. This is because I set uh, create data B as true. So you can see because I set it as true, uh, so it says it selects the folder containing. So, so we have this is the folder containing the data. So once you select it, it start processing the images, do do the badding, do the do, if you want it gray or not, uh, transfer uh, to, sorry split it into training and testing set and doing everything. This takes time. So let's break this. So I I break I break the the, the process using uh, Control C. Okay. And let's now see what if if we set this to false. Now it will not ask for it because I have already made the database. So when we run it, 
it will get directly to the training. You will see that it will get, yes, it, it, it's just getting directly to training. And it's actually resuming from the last uh, training. Because also to save time in the video, I train it for uh, 39 epochs. So I just leave it to train for the, uh, the, the last uh, iteration or the last epoch. Okay, so we can see the, the final uh, result. And then we're going to get to this use CNN to see how we're going to really use it to classify a thing. Okay, so now it's validation. And here it is. Okay, so done training the network. And at the, the first plot you get is the objective, the top one error, which is a very popular plot, of course. A very popular plot of objectives, the top one error. So what you see here is the, is the history of training. Okay, so let's zoom this a little bit. So you can see that you have very little uh, uh, overfitting because of the jitter. Maybe here there is a little bit of overfitting, but this is much better than before. Then you have like the blue one goes like here and the orange one goes like here. So very bad, bad fit, uh, overfitting. Maybe you have a little spikes because uh, I made the learning rate very high. You can lower that. But anyway, a very good accuracy. Okay. Then you have the ROC, which is a very important uh plot to see how it is doing uh, classifying every type uh, of the of the four classes you have even the shape of the filters okay you can see the shape of the, the one the most important the first layer because th this one uh, deals directly with the raw data in the image so you can see that it is looking for uh, parts and 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 maybe some plops and edges and stuff okay so, and you can see that here is the final accuracy. If you wanted to increase the number of, of iterations and continue training, you can do this. You can increase this one. And you can do until you maybe you can get even better accuracy. Okay? Okay, now let's get to use CNN. Once you have this finished, you have the saved, the trained the network in this net.mat. And you can then use CNN directly by running this. So, it will say, open the file. So, we have some examples. To run any one of them is on a file. Let's try this. Okay, sorry again. Yeah, so here you go. You have the probability of how much this uh, classification is right. Uh, let's try a lymphocyte. Yes, that's very good. Uh, one final example. Okay, monocyte maybe. So here you go. Uh, so anyway, now thank you for watching and you will have the link for the codes and the data set and everything in the description. Thank you and I hope you uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.